Hey guys, what is up? This is YoMixer 238 and today we will be doing a spooky mansion tutorial 1.16 uh, uh, as the new update. So we're going to be doing this tutorial with the uh, special warp planks and some of the other special blocks used as well. I hope you guys do like this. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. And sorry about the swivel. It's not the best because I don't have the replay mod, so I kind of had to do it manually with my own mouse. So uh, I, I don't think it looks too bad though, but I hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial. There is going to be, I think, about three parts is how much it's going to be. If you guys do like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that said, I will list the materials in just a second. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is clear out a space for this build because it is a pretty big build and it takes up a lot of space. What I have written on the sign right here says we're going to do 48 by 30 blocks. So that's 48 this way and then 30 blocks this way right here. And I will warn you guys in advance just because it's a fair warning. Um, this tutorial there will be a lot of replacing blocks and fixing and uh, probably a lot of mistakes too because this is a very complex build so if I do mess up in the future please forgive me I'm doing my best so what we're gonna want to go ahead and do is get our materials out now so we'll get a dark oak log and then we're also gonna go ahead and get our warped planks and we're also gonna get warped stairs just like this these three blocks are gonna be the main blocks we use and we're gonna start with a very 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 basic foundation at first so from this corner now that we got the 48 by 30 grid right here we're gonna go one two, three, four, over. And then from here, this block, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, up and place our first dark oak log. Again, that's one, two, three, four, right there. And then one, two, three, four, right here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a warp stairs and we're gonna go up, uh, two upside down warp stairs, one, two, like this, and place another dark oak log. And we're gonna keep it repeating this pattern for a while. So we do two of the warped stairs, one of the logs, two of the stairs, one of the logs, two of the stairs, one of the logs, and we should have one, two, three, four, five overall. So now what we wanna go ahead and do is going in this direction over here, we're gonna place two more of the upside down warped stairs and then another dark oak log. And you can kind of see this is the front right corner of the deck that's kind of starting to form. Now from this log right here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five over, and these two logs right here should line up for you. If they don't, that means you're building it wrong. Now we'll go another one, two, three, four, five, and we'll place another one, and again, these two should line up right here. Now what we're gonna do is, because we'll have the staircase here eventually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one, two, three, four blocks over and leave these four blocks open on, on both blocks just so that we can have this gap open for the staircase, which again, we'll go here in just a little bit. That will be, I have no idea what time of the tutorial, but that will be soon. So now that we got that, we're just gonna kind of mirror this pattern over here that we have. So we're gonna get our upside down stairs and we're gonna go one, two, place a block. Oop, these are both, uh, both supposed to be upside down. And we do two of the stairs, one of the logs, two of the stairs, one of the logs, two of the stairs, one of the logs. And again, it should be one, two, three, four, five when you finish. Now from this block, we'll do the exact same thing we did over here, which is go one, two, three, four, five. And again, these two should line up. Then one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll connect these two logs right here with upside down warp stairs, just like this. It's kind of a symmetrical pattern at first, but now is where it's gonna start getting a little bit more, I guess tricky, kind of tricky. It's not too bad. As long as you guys uh, follow this tutorial, you should be set. All right, so now what we're gonna do, now that we got this, we're gonna start kind of working on the left side. This is where the two towers will be. So right here, we're gonna get our uh, warp stairs and go upside down again. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Then we are gonna place a dark oak log. Now this is where we take out our warped planks because we want to build the foundation of the tower as warp planks instead of warp stairs. You guys will see uh, later on in the tutorial. So right here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five blocks over, and then we're gonna put a dark oak log, and then we're gonna go five more. So one, two, three, three, four, five, and we're gonna place a dark oak log. And you guys can see that it fits perfectly inside this nice little grid right here, which um, it's actually kind of satisfying. Maybe I'll start working with more grids in the future and stuff. But now that we got that, we will get our warp planks and now we will start going this direction with five planks. So one, two, three, four, five, and we will place a dark oak log and then we will start heading back in this direction. So one, two, three, four, five. And for the majority of this tutorial, we actually do work in numbers of five. So that might help you guys uh, when you're building this later on. So now that we got that right there, we actually will, this is, this is where the shape starts getting really odd. We'll actually go one, two, three, four, five towards us, place another log. We'll go one, two, three, four, five over this way, place another log, and these two logs, they should line up. Then we will go one, two, three, four, five, and place another log like this. And this is a little, uh, kind of little building that juts out of the two main towers that we got right here. From over here, we're gonna start working on this side because 
I honestly don't remember how to go from this angle, so we'll just go from this angle and hope it all works. We're gonna get our warp stairs and we're gonna place one, two, three, four, five of them upside down. Now these two logs, they should be matching up in the same distance. From there, we wanna go five more, I believe. So one, two, three, four, five, right here. We'll place another dark oak log, and then we just go five more once again, I think. Uh, let me actually make sure on that note real quick, but as for this part, I know this is all right, but I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my other world and check real quick. I'll be back in one second to finish this little segment of the video. So after a few minutes of inspection and just one cut for you guys, I figured out that we are definitely on the right track. So let's get our warp stairs out now and we will go one, two, three, four, five in this direction right here. And you can see this is where uh, this part of the deck is gonna start forming as we go out this way now. So we will get our warp stairs and we will actually go one, two, three, four out. We will place down in dark oak log. And so now we will get our warp planks out once again and we will go one, two, three, four, five, place another dark oak log. We'll do one, two, three, four, because we do want these logs over here. We want them all to line up. So we're gonna only go four, then place another dark oak log right there. And then we will go one, two, three, four, five. We'll place a dark oak log and then we'll go in towards the house. One, two, three, four, five. We'll place another dark oak log. This is a lot of dark oak logs and a lot of warp stairs. And then finally, we will connect this section right here. Two, three, four, five. And obviously I did something wrong. Oh, that's because uh, right here, the extension is only supposed to be four. I hope I did say that just a second ago. One, two, three, four, uh, not five. So this goes four out for the patio for the backside deck. And then we will actually, I think we get rid of these ones right here too. Sorry about that, that took me a second. But yeah, I think we do have a back staircase as well that goes right here. And what we can also do, uh, just for the time being, we can put the post where they're supposed to go. So from here it goes one, two, three, four, five over here. And it should be one, two, three, four away. Then we should go one, two, three, four, put one here. And now it should be one, two, three, four, five away, one, two, three, four, like this. And you can see this is the basic foundation. It looks kind of uh, almost like a dinosaur, actually. A, dino a dinosaur with a little head right there and kicking or something. I, I, I don't know. But yeah, this is the basic foundation of the house. I think the next thing I want to go ahead and start doing is working on this front patio. So, so let's go ahead and start working on that. So we will begin to start kind of working on the deck, but we will also work on all the other bits and pieces around this entire house. Uh, some materials you will want to go ahead and get out now as well will be dark oak uh, wood, the one that's kind of rounded off the wood that's a bit more expensive. We're also going to uh, want to go ahead and get stripped warp or warped stem, whatever this is, stripped warped stem and stripped warped, I don't know how, to, I have no idea how to pronounce that, hyphae, hyphae? Uh, yeah, you want those blocks though. You want these blocks right here. I have no idea how to pronounce those things. Um, now that we got that though, we can kind of start working on the deck. The very first thing we want to go ahead and do is start raising all of these blocks right here by two blocks, I believe. So you got one right there, two. So just one, two. On pretty much every single post, let's just start doing this around the whole entire thing. We can raise the post over here. Right now, I'm not going to work on this section because we'll work on this a little bit later. Uh, we're just going to kind of work on... I guess the main section over here. But well, actually in these blocks right here too, I did realize this as I was building, you actually wanna use a stripped warp uh, stem right here. So one, two, three right there, instead of the dark oak wood. I don't know why I did this for the design, but it does make it look a little bit nicer. So just replace those guys with stripped warped stem. Sorry about that guys. And then over here, we will raise it one, two, one, two, one, two and one, two around the whole thing. And you can see we kind of raise it a little bit. You can kind of see the deck starting to come together. Now the way that we, the basic design that we do for the front of the deck is we just place more upside down warp stairs on top, just like this, going around the whole thing basically. So just start doing this around the whole front, which I'm not the best at placing the blocks down, but uh, I will do my best. Let's keep going around right here just to get the front deck started and I'll place one, two over here as well. Then on top of that for the warped deck, we will just put some uh, warped planks, just like this going over the whole top right here. So all over this area right here. And if you want, we can actually go ahead and raise these planks as well. So start raising these up because these will go up a lot higher eventually for the time being though. I'm just gonna keep it at about this height. I don't know what that is. Uh, this will go a lot higher though. I, I'm not exactly sure how high. Uh, right about there sounds pretty good. And you can kind of see how the deck is starting to form a little bit. On top of each of these three posts that we made for the deck, we are gonna get the more expensive dark oak wood and we're gonna put the rounded edges on top like so. And you'll just put this on every single little edge that we got going on right here. 
I'll raise this up just a little bit too because this is going to be one of the corners of the house. And now you can see that we definitely have this deck starting to form a little bit. What we can also do is I'm going to get some crying obsidian because this stuff looks so cool. Oh my gosh, I love the texture of this block and everything. It looks amazing. And what we're going to do for that is we're just going to put this underneath to make it kind of look like a spooky foundation. If um, I'm not exactly sure how hard it is to get this resource in this block right here. So if it is too hard, just get some sort of light source or some sort of block that almost looks kind of um, that could replace this obsidian. Maybe you just get re uh, regular obsidian and place that underneath, but you just want it to look kind of like a spooky foundation almost. And maybe we can even mix some obsidian later on in the video with some of this stuff right here too. I'm not exactly sure yet what we'll do for that. But as you can see, the deck is definitely starting to form right here for the staircase. If we want to form the staircase so that we can eventually get up to the deck itself, we can get these uh, warped planks and bring these across. And for the staircase, it's super simple. We just, once we have these blocks in place, we just go down with the stairs right here. So I'll start placing these. We got the stairs going down and down right there. And for the staircase on the side, on the edges, we will use this dark oak wood and dark oak log right here. So something kind of like that. This is kind of what the staircase will look like. Eventually we will texture stuff up as well, but that comes later on in the video as usual. And you can definitely see this deck starting to form. It's starting to look really, really nice, really, really cool. All right, but we will move on from this for the time being. The next thing we wanna do is we're gonna kind of move away from the upside down warp stair on top of upside down warp stair placing these blocks right here because so I don't forget. Just remember to place some sort of foundation block underneath all these blocks. Uh, what we will do though is instead of putting this uh, upside down warp stair, we'll get the stripped warp stem and just go across like so. Just like that, super, super simple, super easy, really nice looking. And then on top of that, we will put warped planks as well. So just like that. And boom, that is that wall done right there. We can go over here and do the exact same thing on this side as well. So we got the stripped warp stem going across like so and right here and then we can put the warped planks on top like this eventually we will probably break this wall down and everything and maybe manipulate a few blocks and make it look a little bit better but again that comes on later on in the video you will see so now we will go ahead and head over to i guess this back left corner sorry i'm kind of jumping all over the map today guys i am uh, this this mansion is a very complex one and i'm trying to get it done trying to get a good trying to get it right. Okay, so over here, what we will do is we will move back to stripped warp stem, I believe. Let me go ahead, I'm gonna check real quick and pause this clip and check my other mansion real quick. I am really glad I checked. I'm sorry guys, mistakes were made again. We actually don't want this pattern right here on either the walls. Uh, again, I am sorry. I told, I did warn you guys though, I gave you a fair warning in the beginning of the video saying that I would probably mess some stuff up. And I did, because I typically do mess stuff up. So what we want to do instead, we do want to keep this upside down stair pattern right here going across like so. So we will have this go across here and here, and we will do this on either side of the walls as well. So we still, we still want to keep the two upside down stairs. Then on top of that, that's where we place this uh, stripped warp stem. So we place this going across right here, like so, going across like that. Again, sorry about that, guys. I will try not to mess that up in future videos. Now over here, I do have clarification over here as well. So we'll get the upside down stairs and go across like this. And then we will get the stripped warp stem and go across like that. From here, we will start using the upside down warp stairs. Again, we, this is a popular method that I keep using throughout the full video and we'll probably keep doing it just because it looks really cool. And we'll just kind of do this around the deck, kind of like we did the front deck as well. So we'll move this right over here. And for this right here, we actually do want to use stripped uh, warp stem on top of the stairs. See, I almost messed up right there. You guys, you guys totally caught me right there though, right? Uh, we can put the stripped warp stem over this part of the wall as well. And again, I'm sorry that I keep jumping like from over here to over here to over here, but I think you guys can just watch the video and tell what I'm doing. Now what we will do is we will put the stripped warp stem over this block as well. See, we only do it on these walls, and then on the deck walls, we actually place uh, just warped planks like this. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four. And you can see this is gonna be kind of the outside of the deck area right here. What we can go ahead and do, to, uh, just to make it a little bit easier for you guys to get up and everything, is we'll get our planks going across right here, and then we will do another staircase, the same exact way we just did the front deck. So put the stairs here, here, like this, and then we can round it off with some dark oak wood, like so, going around this kind of corner right here. And boom, 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 just like that. 
There we go. You see how we got the staircase forming and we also got the deck. And over here we can also put rounded off edges with the stripped warped hyphae. Uh, yeah, that's how you say it. And we can put these rounded off edges right here on the deck to make that a little bit prettier because this will be part of the back deck. As for these posts, again, I will just raise them a little bit because these will be more foundational posts along with all these posts on the edges and everything too. I don't know the exact heights of all those, uh, all these posts over here that we keep extending upwards, but we will figure that out eventually. I think what we're gonna do now, now that we kind of got this kind of basic foundation going on, we'll work on this part later too. I think we're just gonna go ahead and start working more on the front deck and trying to get it looked established and clean and nice. So let's start working on the front deck again. For the deck, we will begin to add on more details. So go ahead, get your warped planks out, and real quick, we're just gonna fill up the floor with a bunch of warped planks. If you wanna do this with warped slabs, if that's even a thing, uh, you can do that too. But we just want these warped planks going like so across this whole deck so that we can walk on it and it will be a little bit easier to get across and build while we're in survival, if you are doing this in survival. And we can also do the same thing over here real quick as well, which I will spam as quickly as I can so you guys don't have to sit through this whole boring process of me placing down some blocks. So, almost there, just got a few more blocks to fill. And I think I missed one block right there. Okay, sweet. So now that we got that, we can actually begin starting to work on kind of the windows of the whole house. For some extended materials you might need, let's go ahead and get some fence out. We'll want our dark oak fence out. And I think that's actually the only other material we need. For the deck, we can start over in this corner and get our dark oak fence out. And we're just gonna start wrapping this around with a dark oak fence like so. Just going around the whole thing, except obviously we don't want it in the path of the stairway right there. And just keep wrapping this around the whole front porch like so. And that's how we get this kind of nice looking front balcony feel to it. Now what we want to do is we want to raise each of these posts so I don't know how tall it is from top to bottom but from this block right here standing on top like right around this area we want to go one, two, three, four, five up and we want to do this on every single one of the posts raise these all up to five like so. Just go ahead and do that around every single corner that's how tall it's going to be and now we will begin to learn the kind of basic foundation of the windows that I use, which is one, two blocks here, one, two blocks here. Then we've got an upside, uh, upright stair like this. Then we go up with these blocks, up with the warp planks. And then right here, we just have an upside down stair like so. And that is a basic window that I use for every single window, except for these towers. These towers are special. We'll get to that soon. So we'll repeat that pattern again. So it's two warped planks, upright warp stair, two more planks. And then we go up and around, up and around. We place two here, two here. Boom, just like that, and that's the window we got going on. You can see the house starting to form together a little bit more. For the uh, door, we can place some more plates here, and we'll create a little spot for the door. I don't exactly remember how to do the door off the top of my head, so we'll just leave that like this for now. Now we'll go over here, and we will repeat the window design once again. We want the upright stair with this kind of frame right here going around, and we'll actually do this around the entire house. So we'll do this here, we will extend all these guys up as well to one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Do the same things over here. And you wanna repeat that window pattern on pretty much every single part. Right here, again, you don't necessarily need to put the window because eventually this wall will be taken down and stuff. But you do want the window here with the post going up. And you just wanna put that window here, here, here. Right here's the doorway, here, here here and here, and I'll show you how to do the doorway real quick as well, which we'll just fill in these four planks. We'll make a little doorway, which it's exactly aligned with the front door over there. And then for the doorway, we put two blocks here, then an upright stair, and then an upside down stair like this. Actually, we wanna do this one block lower. So up, right stair, upside down stair, two blocks right there. And you can see that's how we build the doorway. And then we'll also put in all the windows. And if you want real quick too, we can get the dark oak fence and put it along this back porch right here, since we will have fence over here eventually as well. Hopefully this isn't too abrupt. Hopefully this makes sense. Just start filling in all these gaps with the windows and I'll show you what it looks like in just a second, just so you can see that you make sure you got all the windows the right and proper way. So let's go ahead and do that. Just kidding, that's the end of part one. I'll continue the tutorial in the next part uh, in a couple of days. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and just stay tuned for the next tutorial. <laughs>